Carrie Jaffier, owner of the Goody Box Bake Shop in Hoboken, New Jersey. Today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate coffee cupcakes. The first step in our cupcakes is to boil some water. Now you can do that in a tea kettle or simply a pot. So we, now that we have that uh, on the burner, we're going to start mixing our cupcake batter. The first step in making chocolate cupcakes is to take one cup of butter or two sticks and put it in your mixer bowl. And then you're gonna take three cups of packed brown sugar and you're gonna put it in a stand mixer or you can use a, your own hand beater to mix. And you wanna cream it so it's gonna get a little bit frothy and lighter in color. So we're just gonna mix it on medium speed. Start off slow. And then as it mixes, you can quicken the speed a little bit. And just let it mix for maybe two minutes Sometimes you get a few sugar pieces that might fly out, but just let it mix. Now while your sugar and your butter is creaming, you're going to take four eggs and put them in a, in a different container. You don't want to put the eggs directly into the bowl because it's often easy to drop a shell into your, your cream sugar and that will just completely mess up your whole system and you'll have to start over. So you're going to want to crack your eggs and put them in uh, a separate container. You can do it in a bowl or a measuring cup. Now your sugar may start to creep up on the sides of the bowls a little bit. So you want to stop the mixer and just scrape the sides so that you make sure it gets fully blended and mixed. Now that that's fully creamed, you can see the consistency. Now this is a dark brown sugar. It depends on the depth of chocolate taste that you want in your cupcake. You can use a golden brown or a dark brown. Either one will work. So then what you're going to do is put the mixer on a low speed and simply pour your eggs in one at a time and just move the speed up a little bit as you go. So as you're adding the eggs, you want to pause the mixer and just scrape down the sides again just to make sure that the, the eggs are fully um, emulsified with the butter and sugar. So you're going to add your final egg, just let it mix a little bit, perfect. You're going to do one final scrape of the sides just to make sure you get all the egg fully mixed in there and then it's on to your dry ingredients. Now you're going to want to sift your dry ingredients into one bowl. At home I use your typical strainer. Uh, most home cooks don't necessarily have a professional sifter. Uh, of course we have one in our bakery but at home I actually just use something that simple. So you're going to take two and two-thirds cup of flour all-purpose, unbleached flour. And just empty that into your strainer. Three cups of Dutch processed cocoa powder. You want to incorporate cocoa powder with your flour because cocoa powder oftentimes can get lumpy and you don't want lumps in your batter. And this is a great way with sifting. Uh, everything's going to get blended and broken apart into fine particles. Then one tablespoon of baking soda. All right, then what you're going to do is simply sift it over a bowl. And sometimes there's a few lumpy particles in the end. This is a great example of why you need to sift. It helps to get these lumpy particles through the sifter so that they're not lumpy particles in your batter. And I just like to give it a nice little stir just so that everything's blended. Now it's time to add it to your butter and sugar mixture. This is very important to put your mixer on medium. Whether you're using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, you want to start off on a very slow speed. Start adding your dry mixture and alternate it with one and one-third cup sour cream. And don't forget, stop and scrape the sides. You want to make sure that the sugar, butter, eggs, and your dry flour ingredients all mix thoroughly together. So for coffee cupcakes, you want to take one tablespoon of espresso powder and just put it into your boiling water, shake it up a little bit, and add it to your chocolate batter. What this does is brings out the richness in your chocolate cupcake. It adds a little hint of coffee, but it really complements the chocolate and makes it full and rich in taste. We're going to pull this up and make sure that there's no butter or thick batter on the bottom. So you just stir it, making sure that everything's incorporated together. And now you have your cupcake batter. And as you see, the batter's relatively thin. Now that we've prepared the batter, it's time to put it in your cupcake tins. And as you see, it's a very thin batter, so it pours very easily out of something with a pour spout. And you want to pour the batter until you reach about a quarter inch of space at the top of the cupcake wrapper. 
Having a thin batter allows you to pour very easily. Next, you wanna bake your cupcakes on the middle rack at 350 for 20 to 22 minutes. Every oven is different, so you wanna make sure that at that 20 minute marker, you just take a peek at your cupcakes and see if they look done or not. You may have to leave them in for one or two more minutes. Now that our cupcakes are in the oven, it's a good time to start on our coffee buttercream. And what we're actually making is a chocolate coffee buttercream. Those two flavors really complement each other and just make it a rich American classic buttercream. So first thing is we're going to start with one cup of butter. And what we're gonna do is cream it with the mixer. Next, we're going to add our powdered sugar. And this is one pound or approximately four cups of powdered sugar. Next, you're going to add one cup of cocoa powder. And you want to be careful to put your mixer on slowly. And just slowly let it start to mix together because you don't want the cocoa powder and the powdered sugar to fly everywhere onto your counter. While that's mixing, you're going to take two tablespoons of espresso or coffee powder and two tablespoons of hot water. And basically what you're making is a coffee extract. Next, you wanna add your coffee mixture to your sugar and cocoa mixture. Next, you're going to add a half a cup of milk. And you can adjust the amount of liquid that you put into your buttercream, depending on how thick or thin you like your buttercream. Now that it's mixed and it's a nice wet mixture, you can turn your mixer up a little bit to whip it. It's always good to stop, take a pause, and scrape down the sides of your mixing bowl. This will help you to make sure all of your ingredients are fully incorporated. The next step is filling your piping bag with the chocolate coffee buttercream. Squeeze the buttercream just to where it comes out the tip of the, the piping tip. So now it's time to frost our cupcakes. So you take your chocolate coffee frosting and your chocolate coffee cupcake and you bring them together. And there you go. I'm Carrie Jaffier, owner of the Goodie Box Bake Shop in Hoboken, New Jersey.